Right, hi guys, welcome to 10 Minute Maths, where we're going to be learning about lots and lots of different maths in under 10 minutes. Right, today we're going to be thinking about number bonds to 10 using a tens frame. And this is really important because it supports our early learning goal, where we're using quantities and objects, where we're adding two one digit numbers. Right, so today we're going to use a few different words that you might not have heard of before. So we're going to use add, equals, and all together. When we say all together, that's where we're going to get all of our objects and we're going to put them in one place and we're going to count them all together. Right, so I would love you to join in today. So what you will need is a tens frame. You will need 10 counters. And these could be absolutely anything. They could be rocks, stones, toys, whatever you find. But you'll need 10 and to join in at the end, you will need a dice. Right, so now we're going to be thinking about number bonds to 10 using a tens frame. One thing that we must remember is that when our tens frame is full, it's always going to equal 10. So let's put our 10 counters in. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so it's always going to equal 10. Right, we're now going to look at a couple of methods to help us count a little bit quicker and more efficiently in a tens frame. So, I've put some counters in a tens frame. How many have we got there? Right, let's count all together. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? This is going to be really important now to help us count a little bit quicker, more efficiently, a little bit later. So remembering that it's always going to be 5 when that top half is full. That's going to help us count a lot quicker a bit later. So, let's have another go. Let's put some more counters in. Right, How many counters have we got there? And don't forget, we're trying to count a little bit quicker. So you don't have to count one counter every time. So how many is in that top half? Right, five, so let's count on from five. We've got five, six, excellent. So there's six counters in there, well done. Let's have another go. Right, how many counters have we got in the tens frame now? Right, let's try and remember that method that we've just been using. So we're gonna count five, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent, so we've got nine counters in there. Right, let's start to think about number bonds to 10. Here we go. Right, so look at the picture of the dogs. How many dogs are there on the sofa? Right, let's count these ones together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. How many dogs are there on the floor? Excellent, so we've got one, two. Right, how many dogs are there all together? So now we're gonna count how many dogs are on the sofa and on the floor. So we are gonna add those together. Right, I'm gonna help you with this one just to count a little bit quicker. So how many dogs were on the sofa? Right, eight. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna count on from eight. So we've got eight, nine, 10. So we know there's 10 dogs all together. So already we're starting to think about those number bonds to 10. So we now know that eight and two is 10. Right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put those dogs into a tens frame, okay? So this time, the dogs that are on the sofa, they're going to be red counters. So we need to put eight red counters in there. So 
So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And our dogs that are on the floor, they're going to be our blue counters. So we need two. So we've got one, two. Excellent. Right, so now we know that our tens frame is full. So all together, we know that there's ten. So we can think of a number sentence now. So our red counters, there were eight. And our blue counters, there are two. And all together, there are ten. So our number sentence will be eight add two equals ten. Excellent. Right, so now we're going to create our own number bonds to ten using a dice. So our number sentence says something add something equals ten. So we know that our answer is always going to equal ten. Right, let's roll the dice to see how many we get. How many is it? Right, one. So I'm going to put one red counter into the tens frame and the rest of the counters are going to be blue. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put our one into our number sentence. So it says one add something equals ten. And then we're going to count the rest of the blue ones now and that's going to be our next number. So let's count them. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we can put nine into our number sentence. So our number sentence reads, one add nine equals 10. Excellent. Right, let's have another go. So we're gonna roll the dice. How many have we got? Six, excellent. So let's put our six red counters into the frame. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Right, so let's put our six on our board. And now we're going to find out how many we need to add to make 10. So we're going to count the blue counters. Here we go. We've got one, two, three, four. Excellent. Let's put that into our number sentence. So it's six, add four. And how many is there all together? 10. Excellent. So our number sentence reads six, add four equals 10. Right, let's have another go. Last one now. I want you to help me with this one. So we're going to roll the dice. Right, tell me, what do I need to do first? Right, so we need three red counters. Excellent. So I'm going to put one, two, three red counters. Right, let's put that into our number sentence. What do we need to do next? Excellent. We're going to count the blue counters. Right, so we've got... Five, six, seven. Let's put that into our number sentence. Right, how many are there all together? Excellent, so we've got ten. Right, last little challenge. Can you tell me what does our number sentence say? Excellent, three add seven equals ten. Well done, that was really good that time. Right, let's finish with a little challenge for you. So, are you ready? How many ways can you make 10 using a tens frame? Right, we've just had a go at doing three different ones there. You can use a dice to help you create your own ones, or you know, you might even find it easier not using a dice. But I can tell you there are 11 different ways altogether. Right, so there is your challenge for this week. Have a good go at it and just let us know how you get on. Right, that's all we've got time for this week. So make sure you send us a message, let us know if there's anything new that you'd like to learn about. Give us a like, subscribe and share. See you soon.